So you could also, instead of doing a scale, do something where you anchored on a C in your left hand, just keep doing that over and over, and did your four note downward chords coming up in the right hand. So it would be three C against four C, three C against D, three C against four E, and so forth. And then I'm gonna do a, a G offset by a five so that the G in right hand is a D four note chord. Here's what it would sound like. So what if you did up three against down four and you started with your right hand? So you could do something like this. Now do that starting with the right hand. Three up against down four. Just do it on a C at first. Right, left. You've got to place three against four, but only do the first finger of each, the, the thumb in the right hand and the fourth finger in the left hand. Now do your C3 against your C4, and you're starting with your right hand. You're going to go down, left hand's going to go up. So do right, left, right, left, and just do that. Do that till it's comfortable. Then continue on, you're not just going to go you're going to go to the next one. Then you'll have one left. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now try doing a chord progression with that, like... With that, I just stayed anchored on the, on the C. My port chord progression was with the right hand. So it's a C, D, F, and E. Now you can do that same pattern, three against four, three up against four down, starting with the right hand. And you can do a chord progression, some of them offset by a fifth, some of them not offset at all, some of them offset by a third. Whoops, starting with my right finger, okay. Once you feel comfortable with those, you can mix them up and make etudes or songs. You can do an entire song with just three against four because you can also add in things that you already know, like a rolled four in the right hand with an arpeggiated three in the left hand. So here's an example of mixing them up.